If you use YouTube video within my courses, you're required by federal law to make sure their closed captionings are correct. YouTube will do an automatic closed captioning, but it's not 100% correct. So the first step in this process is you need to create a text file which has timestamps and captions on it. And you can use the closed captioning tool to do that, and you may want to look at the tutorial that relates to that. This particular tutorial is going to show you, after you've created the text file with the closed captioning, how to get this into your course. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the YouTube CC Wizard Tool website, and that URL is up here. You're going to go in YouTube, and you're going to copy up in the address bar the YouTube uh, video URL. You come back into the YouTube uh, CC, CC Wizard, and in the area step one, place your YouTube URL below, you're going to go ahead and paste in the URL. When you paste in the URL, you'll see the video down here. You're now going to type in the caption name um, of the text file in the area that says add a caption. Now you want to make sure that you do not type in the .txt uh, file name in the text field and you also want to make sure that it copies exactly what you have and so in order to do that I'm gonna go ahead onto my desktop and this is my text file right here and I'm gonna go ahead and copy that name so I can make sure it's 100 percent correct I'm gonna paste it in there when I paste it in there you'll see uh, some copy video code you're gonna click on the copy YouTube video code button and that will copy the code to your clipboard. Now you go into My Courses, you navigate to the module in which you want, wish, in which you want to add the video, click on the New button, click on Create a File, enter a title, and now you're going to click on the Insert Stuff button. You're going to click on Enter Embed Code. In the embed code area, you're going to paste in the code that you had within um, the wizard. Click the next button and click insert. Go ahead and click publish. So that's kind of the first step in the process. At this point, we don't have the captions connected. What we need to do next is to go to the file manage area. So click on edit course in the nav bar. Click on manage files and you're going to you're going to upload the text file but you're going to upload it into the same folder in which the create a file that you just did was created if you've created folders make sure you navigate to those folders before you upload but if you just click publish that means that the uh, file for the video is sitting in the root so I'm just going to go ahead and click upload click the upload button I'm going to navigate to where that file is located. I'm going to click on it, click open, and click save. Now I can navigate back to the video, and let's make sure that video is working properly. We'll test it, and you'll notice right at the bottom here, the captions are working correctly. If I scrub through and start it up, the captions will catch up. 